Um, I think the next step is to bake it. One more time. Hi, I'm back. I think I'm back. I don't know. It has been about a year since I've made a video for you guys. I figure maybe it's time to start it up again. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing weekly videos or maybe once a month, something like that. We'll see. Whenever the mood strikes me, we might make one. But yeah, I haven't been on YouTube for a year, probably over a year, just about a year, because we all know that COVID happened. I work for a large corporation and was deemed essential and was also given mandatory overtime. So didn't have much time to dabble into this goodness. The year went on. I ended up getting COVID in December. I'm all better now. I don't have any lingering effects. I know there's a lot of people that do and that totally sucks. So if you're one of those people, I feel so sorry for you and I hope that you feel better or get answers because that's terrible. But anyway, today we are going to be making a dessert and we're gonna be making pistachio cheesecake. I'm excited, let's get started. So this recipe has a coconut macaroon crust and I thought that was really interesting. I've made a normal cheesecake before that had a sugar cookie crust and I feel like the cookie crust is definitely the way to go rather than the graham cracker crust. Well, that's the first thing we need to get started is the crust. I've preheated the oven to 375, that is heated. We are gonna whisk together all of the dry ingredients for the crust and then mix in some wet ingredients. So we need sugar. You can find the amounts that I used down below. I'll post the recipe in the description. Flour, all-purpose flour. Unsweetened shredded coconut. Those are the dry ingredients for the crust. And then the last thing is two egg whites. And I'm just gonna give that a mix till it's all combined. Now we need to press it into the bottom of our cake pan. I'm using a nine inch springform pan. That's the classic cheesecake pan. Uh, it doesn't say to grease it at all. I think I'm just gonna spray some oil into it just to keep myself safe. <laughs> I don't know. So just put that into the pan and spread it out evenly. So that covered the bottom of the pan pretty nicely. We are going to pop this into the oven. The oven, like I said, is preheated to 375. We're gonna pop this in there for 18 minutes and it should turn like a golden color. Let's see what happens. So the next part of the recipe is to make the pistachio paste. And I already did it because it was a very time consuming process and I didn't think that you needed to see that on camera. But basically you take um, a cup of shelled pistachios, so that means without the shell. Soak them so that the skins come off. Take all the skins off, make sure they're all bright green. I feel like I left a little bit of brown on some of mine, so mine's not super green. We'll see how this cheesecake turns out. It's supposed to be green. They say the color is affected by the skins as well as the taste. So yeah, those are, we'll see how this goes. I tasted this, it tastes great, but yeah. So you do that and then you have to dry the nuts because you soaked them and they're supposed to be dry. Um, I put them in my dehydrator for like an hour. I don't feel like I got them dry enough. You pulverize them in the food processor and then you add the rest of the ingredients, which is almond flour, almond extract, and it's supposed to be corn syrup, but I could not find corn syrup at Stater Brothers. I'm convinced they don't carry it. So I bought some agave nectar. We'll see how this turns out, if it's the same consistency or what if it's gonna change. But I use agave nectar and it's this stuff tastes really good. Um, the almond flavor really comes through with the almond extract and there's barely any in there, which is really cool. So that is done. My pie crust is still in the oven. We're gonna wait for that to be completed and then it has to cool down when it's cooling down. When it's cooling down is when I will do the filling for the cheesecake and we'll do that together. See you soon. All right, the crust came out of the oven. It looks somewhat golden, a little pale still, but I feel like I used the wrong pan. <laughs> I have a dark one of these springform pans and I have a light one and I never know which one is the right one to use. So I always screw it up. I should have used the light one, I bet. Um, but the edges and the bottom, I'm sure, are getting a little dark. So I took it out at the 18 minutes uh, and I'm gonna let it cool. And we will start on the filling. So I've already made the pistachio paste and that is going into the filling. This recipe that I'm using asks for a water bath. I don't have a pan big enough for a water bath. So I'm not gonna do one. The recipe does, however, also mention putting a pan of hot water in there just to create steam. So I am doing that. I just don't have a pan big enough for that pan to fit into, so I won't be able to submerge it. 
It'll probably just mean crispy or crust, but whatever. So this time it says to have the oven programmed at 300 degrees. So I'm gonna lower the temperature just a bit for that. And now we will get to mixing. And I got all my ingredients ready somewhat. We need to beat the cream cheese and the sugar together to make that nice and smooth. I have four boxes of cream cheese. You do wanna make sure also that your cream cheese is room temperature. Otherwise it won't really mix very well and you will have lumps in your cheesecake. Finally, that's all the cream cheese in there. And we are supposed to be whisking it with the sugar. Put our whisk attachment back on and whip it up. Like usual, it's always good to scrape down your bowl and your beaters. Halfway through. And we'll give it another swirl around the bowl. And now we need to add some more almond extract. My favorite flavoring, by the way, if you didn't know. And we need to add in our pistachio paste. Hopefully this will distribute nicely in here. I might just crumble it in as it's whisking though, so it'll kind of do better than just hucking it all in. So we'll see. And we'll scrape the sides of it now that we have all this pistachio fun in there. Oh, it looks so good. I just want to eat it like this. Now we can add in the eggs. And this is two eggs and an egg yolk. And those eggs are obviously what's going to give it lift when it bakes as well as like keep it a solid piece rather than a goo. I don't know if you know, but cheesecake is one of my favorite desserts. So I'm excited. Like, I, why am I so excited about food? It's food. And the verdict is in. It is not green. It is brown. It's like taupe. I don't really know. Now uh, I'm going to check to see if this is cool. The pan is cool. The crust is cool. I think we're good to go. But we need to put the filling in the pan on top of the crust. I'm a little sad that it's not green. So I'm just making sure I get it into all of the corners so that we don't have any pockets. So the recipe does say to bake it at 300 in a water bath. Since I don't have a water bath, I'm going to lower the temperature like 10 degrees and see if that helps um it'll probably hurt it just because of my track record with changing recipes <laughs> i tend to screw things up quite often if you haven't noticed but we're gonna try that i feel like if i do the 300 the dark pan is going to burn the crust or the outside and then the middle of it's going to be raw so we lowered the temperature a little bit we're still going to do the time that it says which is an hour and five minutes and we'll ch probably check it at like 45 not opening the oven just turning the light on um, we'll check to see what it looks like and then when it's done it says that the outside edges should be pretty firm and the middle should jiggle a little bit hello it's the next morning um i baked it for the hour and five minutes and then you are supposed to turn the oven off and leave it in there to cool for an hour which i did um, I didn't, it says to prop up in the door. I didn't do that. I just left it closed because I was nervous about using the lower temperature. So I wanted to make sure that it set really well. So I left the door closed, um, let it cool in there for an hour. And then I took it out and let it come to room temperature on the counter. And then I popped it in the fridge overnight so it would completely set. And I can't wait to cut into this tonight after I eat dinner. Um, let's go ahead and take it out of the pan so you could see what the sides look like and stuff. So um, as it was cooling, I noticed it was pulling away from the sides of the pan. So I just ran a knife around the edges so it wouldn't crack or anything. And it turned out so good. Look at it. So this isn't crust. We only did the crust on the bottom. This is just the cheesecake filling that browned around the edges because it was against the pan. And uh, look at it. I'm so excited. Thank you for coming along with me on my first video back after my year hiatus. Um, I hope this recipe was a good one. I hope you try it out. Um, it's pretty easy. Everything you can find at your local grocery store, except for corn syrup, which Stater Brothers do not have, but I have seen it in other stores, so maybe my store was just out of it. I don't know. Um, but the agave nectar worked fine. Maybe you could even use honey. It just needs something sticky and sweet to hold that crust together. Let me know if you make this at home, um, what you think of the recipe. And if you do make it, let me know if you get it to come out green, because I want to see the pretty colors. Don't forget to give this video a like and a subscribe if you want to see some more videos from me. See you later. Oh, hi.
see how they're cute. I don't want to see you, but someone told me they think they're cute. 